World record setting grapefruit weighs more than most newborns. Yeah, take a look at this massive thing. Earlier this year, Mary Beth and Doug Meyer grew a seven pound, 14 ounce grapefruit in Louisiana. It's more than 28 inches around. The Guinness Book of World Records says the pumpkin shaped fruit broke two records. This is now the heaviest and largest grapefruit by circumference. The Meyer family was presented with the official Guinness certificate on Tuesday. This is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. A big grapefruit. Slice that thing open. Let's, yeah, I'll see what it looks it. like inside. Yeah, see how it My tastes. My guess is too. they're not. Yeah, they're going to leave it like it is for a while so people can get their selfies no, with it, right? No way. They have to eat it, too. They grew that huge thing. Hey, they have this, to. Look at this grapefruit. Preserve it and carve it for Halloween. There you go. They put could a little now, candle, I guess. Put a little candle inside. <laughs> Good. Why not? Be perfect. Do you ever grow anything really big, bigger than usual? Uh, not bigger than usual. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had a decent size uh, watermelon. Yeah. Okay. You know, Peyton w was, my daughter was smaller. She was carrying that thing like this. <laughs> What's the trick? How do you grow good. huge fruits? Talk to yeah, the other guy. Probably ask you got to talk to the other Brian, guy. Brian, you try that. to grow really big pumpkins from time mm -hmm. to time, don't you? Yeah, we do. That's right. This year, um, I didn't get that done. We tried, but didn't quite make the list. But yeah, in the past, I think, was it two years ago? One year I rolled one in here, I remember <laughs> that, and I never, that, that was really Well, big. you also brought in um, huge tomatoes, too, haven't you? Yeah. Using yeah, a we wheelbarrow to bring those in? Yeah, the monster tomato. Yeah, that thing. I think I gave it to Grant, if I remember right. He probably made spaghetti out of it. <laughs> Just I mean, one, I hope one tomato it. was enough to, all, to make all the spaghetti <laughs> sauce. Yeah, and the, speaking of tomatoes... Um, that's probably on the list of things to do today. Go through the garden a little bit and see those tomatoes as they're finally coming into uh, season here. I know you've been busy. Uh, in fact, I got to look at your tomatoes yesterday. Yeah. They look pretty good. Look pretty good. You know, they're slowly changing, the ones that haven't changed yet. And uh, a couple other things coming in pretty good. The watermelon. Yep. Looking good. All that stuff, that's late August for you. So we need a little summer weather to go with that.